All right, thank you. And now what can you do to ensure that the new year is happy and healthy for you? Well, this morning we have five ways to jumpstart your healthy new year. Our medical contributor, Dr. Marie Savard, is here to tell you what you can do to keep your body in good shape in the new year. Happy New Year to you, Marie. Thank you. You too. New Year's Day, everyone's like, okay, clean slate. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to really, I'm going to do all the right things right now. And you're saying five, five things. Five easy things. Five easy things. So first, the first thing is vitamin D. We've learned so much last year about vitamin D. Yeah. Every month, a new study showing the benefits. It's not just the sunshine vitamin. It actually does everything related to our bones, our brain, our heart. Mm -hmm. Extraordinary research. And guess what? Only 50% of us have vitamin D levels that are barely measurable. The rest of us don't get enough. It happens if you live above Atlanta, you're not getting that sun in the winter. Okay. So most of us probably need to think about taking a supplement. Vitamin D doesn't occur naturally in food. It, it's fortified, so you get a little bit in milk, let's say milk mm -hmm. products, but it's really important to think about taking a supplement. So number one on my list, get the high potency vitamin D. We're thinking about, incre they're increasing the recommendations from maybe 400 to closer to 1,000 or even wow. more a day. So vitamin D, number one. Check, vitamin D, number one. Okay. I remember talking with you that about this a, a little bit and also cod liver oil that really it's, it needs to come back it used to be something back in the day that our grandparents and parents talked about it, it's so true in fact my grandmother did it on a regular basis yeah. and many have and in some states in the northern states they still do it I know in Minnesota for example four o'clock they start giving it to the kids so what's great about cod liver oil it turns out it's chock full of vitamin D so if you're not taking the tablet mm -hmm. you're gonna get lots in that cod liver oil it's full of the omega-3 the healthy fat fatty acids we've need to talk about that sure. the fish oils and it also has the critical vitamin a important for our eyes our skin our brains fish oils we're learning a lot and that's what's in cod liver oil do they, they sort of affect our cell membranes they affect our heart studies have shown it lowers the risk of heart disease heart arrhythmia it helps brain function maybe even in young kids they're giving it kids who have that hyperactivity disorder mm -hmm. it might help them we're learning it's think of the fish oils as your skin it's kind of they surround this the cell of every cell of the body and the smarter and the healthier of your skin the okay. really the healthier you'll be so we got vitamin D taken care of fiber you've always been very big in talking about fiber and the importance of that it's, adding it to our diet it's so important yeah we don't get enough fiber and we know that if you know once we became sort of westernized and we started eating highly processed foods we lost all that fiber mm. fiber is critical it lowers our insulin levels it lowers all sorts of things like it affects blood pressure, inflammation, which we know has plays a role in heart disease, right. lowers that, that blood test, the C-reactive protein test. So it's not, fiber's not just about colon health. We're chuckling, we know that's good. But it's also about preventing diabetes, preventing heart disease, lowering cholesterol. There's great ways to take fiber. We don't always get enough in our diets. So I really talk about supplementing, breaking it up during the day, maybe having a spoonful or so of something mm -hmm. like Metamucil, Benny Fiber, there's a number of different products or wafers that you can take to work. If you take it before a meal, it'll like dampen that sugar load, lessen that insulin you feel response. Full. You feel and you full. feel full yeah. and you can start losing weight. Okay. Speaking of, oof, this is delicious. I have been nibbling on this. This is your homemade granola. This is what mm. I've given to all my friends for Christmas. The truth is, I'm That's sort of right. famous for granola more than anything else mm -hmm. because I've put this together and it's a simple healthy dish. Kind of big roasting pan, throw in the raw oats which are great, flaxseed and put some healthy honey and cinnamon and a little bit of natural peanut butter in there. Oh. Toast it. It's great you know, stuff. It, me it means nothing unless it's tasty and that is so tasty. And we're going to have it on our website to help folks uh, with the recipe. Vitamin C. All this talk about vitamin D. Vitamin C has been taking a back seat lately. Oh, vitamin C, but guess what? Calcium as well. So we got to mm. talk about that calcium. That's number four on oh, the list. Okay. Vitamin C is important. Actually, we don't have it on the list, but it's obviously been around. We know that it's really critical. Calcium. Mm. Another thing that we don't get enough of, they estimate that Americans get about 600 milligrams a day. We need more like 1,200 or more. Vitamin D and calcium work together. You need that vitamin D to cause the calcium to be absorbed. But you also need the calcium because it forms our skeleton. It gives us the strength that we need. But it also affects our blood vessels, lowers blood pressure, maybe even plays a role in developing colon polyps. Getting enough calcium is important. Mixing it with the vitamin D. How do you get enough? Well, you can consume milk, but many people have lactose intolerance. So if you, unless you want to get a couple cups of milk a day, if you can't do that, taking a supplement is a good way. And there's many different brands. The carbonate variety tends to be the most popular chewable. I love that. Mm -hmm. But the truth is it can be 
it can be constipating. There's no question. Okay, so one, two, three, four, number five, and people are going to love this, especially on New Year's. Throw out the scale. That's what you're saying. No more weighing ourselves. Absolutely. Grab the tape measure, a cloth tape measure. Cost pennies. Mm -hmm. Measuring inches around your waist predicts your health future more than anything else. Lose two inches in 2009. You'll lower your risk of diabetes, heart disease. How to do it? Walk, walking will do it even if you don't lose calories. Bottom line tape measures are important. All right. And this is going home yeah. with me. Wow. That's a Thank great you. way to do it. Thank you. All the best in the new year. Great. Healthy and happy. Thank we'll be you. right back.